Alright, so this is my first uh, Flames of War video I'm going to do. I'm actually going to do it on the Intel book Atlantic Wall uh, from the D-Day uh, Intel series that just came out. I'm pretty excited. I haven't had a chance to really look through uh, the book too much. I did look, uh, look through it quickly and formed a list off a quick, uh, just a quick one for fun. Uh, but I'll show you that in just a minute. So this is the, what it comes with, the D-Day packaging. It comes with one book. Uh, for the Germans and one book for the Allies, the British, Canadian, and United States forces. Alright. Uh, so that's the Atlantic Wall. Uh, real quick. So pull it out here. So this is what the two books look like. Alright. Overlord and Atlantic Wall. I'm going to be going through Atlantic Wall today. I'll go over Overlord a little bit later as I look through it, but uh, the beautiful books of uh, that I've skimmed through. Uh, beautiful pictures. Uh, the lists look a lot of fun. I'm really excited to start playing them. Uh, so let me let me put Overlord away and we'll get going with Atlantic Wall. Alright, here we go with Atlantic Wall. So as you can see it's a really nice book as I've been saying. Artwork is beautiful. Let's open it up. Uh, front page is a map of Normandy. Uh, D-Day is all about the Allied invasions. Uh, so just a quick off of uh, shows all the maps and how the forces were um, deployed and everything. After that we got our table of contents. This book pretty much has everything you could think of during World War II, uh, late war anyway. Starting off we got the fortress divisions, a uh, bunch of uh, as I said everything. You can get bunkers, you can get landmines, barbed wire fence, and everything and anything you can think of uh, during World War II, late war. This book has it. I'm really impressed so far just being able to skim through it. Moving on, they got Realmos Funnies. Uh, haven't had a chance to look to that too uh, too closely. Um, of course, we got the uh, Schwer Panzer Tank Battalions, the Heavy um, uh, Tiger uh, Tank Battalions, the Heavy Tanks. It wouldn't be wouldn't be World War II. It wouldn't be Normandy without Tigers, right? Uh, and then you got your Panzer divisions, your lighter tanks, mediums, Panzer fours, Panthers. Uh, Moving on down, we got our heavy tank hunter platoon, the Yag Panther. This book really stresses Yag Panthers as opposed to the other books. I believe Grey Wolf really had a lot of Stugs in it. Uh, this book is all about the Yag Panther uh, in, a, in regards to the tank hunters. Um, and I'll show you what they look like in just a minute. Uh, infantry divisions, you got your normal infantry, Yag, or I'm sorry, Grenadier divisions, Grenadier companies, uh, par <coughs> excuse me, parachutes, uh, SS. Uh, heavy tank battalions. I believe the last like 25% of this book is all SS, Panzer, Infantry, uh, Grenadier divisions and platoons. So that's really cool. Of course, the flip side of an SS is they're wickedly expensive and you field uh, a low number of platoons. All right, so you got all SS, Panzer companies, and Grenadiers and whatnot. And you have certain battles if you want to play. And then, uh, just like every book, they have core support. Arsenal and then some painting guides uh, in the very back. All right. So uh, instead of going through page by page, which would take probably many many hours, which I don't really want to do right now, uh, I'm gonna flip to the list that I found was the most entertaining and the most interesting to play. Uh, if I can find it here. Actually, first of all, I'm gonna start off. This is the Yag Panther platoon. Um, this is what I was saying. Uh, this is for me. I personally love Panzers and tanks myself. So I will be fielding some sort of armor. Um, I was looking at this one and I didn't really like, the reason I don't want to field this one is there aren't enough support units for it to have a very diverse uh, company, it's, even though Yag Panthers are quite powerful if you look in the back of the arsenal. Um, so just like normal headquarters and two combat, plat combat platoons, you have an optional third platoon if you'd like anti-aircraft. Uh, you have some more tank hunters. Uh, you have the Stugs and uh, 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 Yag hunters and assault guns and whatnot. Uh, there we go. Anti tank gun platoons. Infantry. Some light infantry, whatever, to support and capture objectives. You got your anti anti more anti aircraft. This is more of a stationary one. Some light artillery to support your infantry. And then uh, heavy artillery. And that's it. There really isn't a lot. There's no aircraft. There's nothing to really. Uh, really do any heavy supporting of the Yag Panthers, which is another reason why I didn't really want to 
uh, field this platoon on the first one. But if you have your heart set on Yag Panthers and you want to do it, then by all means, you got to go with what you love. All right. They are confident veterans, which is nice, as opposed to the list that I chose, which are confident trained, which it might uh, hurt me later on, but we'll find out. All right. This is the list that I chose when I was looking through this book. It has the most options for support. Obviously, uh, headquarters and infantry combat platoon is like normal. It is an infantry company, a, pan a grenadier platoon. All right. Uh, I chose I chose to have three squads of uh, rif uh, rifle MG teams. They're worth 120 points. And then I chose to field a optional third grenadier platoon at 85 points. All right. After that. I went and got myself heavy machine guns for defense. In addition to those, I also came down and I got myself some pack 40s, three guns, two sections, three guns. Uh, if you don't have pack 40s in your list, um, I highly recommend getting pack 40s or some sort of heavy anti-tank for def for defense. Uh, they have definitely made the difference when I play when I play games. Um, then, obviously, since I love tanks, I chose to field two Yag Panthers, and the Yag Panther platoon. And then the Panzer Platoon, five Panzers, which are 450 points for five Panzers. And that's the bulk of my offense right there, the two Yag Panthers and then um, the, the Panzer Platoon. That'll be the bulk of my offense. The infantry, the Pack 40s will be on defense. Um, I, brought, I brought some Arty, Grenadier uh, Artillery Platoon, uh, for, for some support. I believe, I don't have the list right in front of me, but I believe I also was able to field some smaller artillery for support of the infantry um, and whatnot. And then you also get allied platoons, SS, in addition to this one. Uh, so it's a, you have a lot of options when it comes to this list, and that's one of the reasons why I chose it. I was quite impressed with it. Um, so let me show you. Let me go back here and show you real quick the Panzer platoons, because I personally love tanks, and so uh, that's one of the great things. About this. Oh, actually, since I found it, Heavy Tank Battalion, Schwerer Panzer Company, Tigers, gotta love Tigers, right? So again, like normal, two combat platoons, headquarters. It does have quite a bit of support, actually. I was surprised when I was looking through this. They are confident veterans, just like normal. Uh, again, just a little, unfortunately, like everything, or every, all the other Tiger companies, platoons rather, they are wicked expensive. 860 points for four of them, or... 1360 for King Tigers. All right, uh, let's find the normal Panzer IVs here. Page 104, 103, two. There we go. All right. So again, the Panzer Company has a lot to offer here. If you wanna, if you want tanks, this might be the way to go. Uh, obviously, you have your normal two. You can also uh, opt to have two more platoons, which might benefit you in the long run if you'd like. Um, you can also have your heavy battalion, or heavy platoon, excuse me, of Tigers. You have your wide range of Panzer Grenadiers from the different uh, different companies, uh, sorry, different divisions. You have your Panzer Lear Division, which is this uh, C-looking uh, logo. The Panzer Division uh, with the Trident, and then also the 9th Panzer Division uh, marked with the Y uh, logo. So again, you have different, you have a lot of choices of who you want to field and whatnot. You also have uh, armored anti-aircraft, which could come in handy later on. I've been harassed by aircraft a few times in my games, which uh, I wish that I had some anti-aircraft gun to get rid of them. All right, uh, let's see. So since I'm on the topic of Yag Panthers, in the arsenal, so I'm gonna be fielding Yag Panthers and uh, Panzer IVs. So just give you a quick look at Panzer IVs are, uh, 75 millimeter gun, KWK uh, 40 gun, standard tank, six millimeter or six inches, or I should say a six front armor, two rate of fire, 11 anti tank, three side armor, firepower. Your, your standard tank. That's your normal Panzer IV. Now, come down here to our Yag Panther, early version, unfortunately, but still powerful nonetheless. And if I could focus here, there we go. And 88 millimeter gun, pack 43. All right, again, standard tank. Uh, although front armor of 10, rate uh, armor, I'm oh, sorry, um, fire uh, rate, oh, man, I'm losing it today. Um, 
uh, rate of fire of 2, side armor of 5, anti-tank of 16. There's not a lot on the battlefield that's going to be able to stop uh, armor, from, um, anti-tank is 16, and then normal top armor and side armor, or, uh, firepower is normal. Uh, the only downside to this vehicle is that it's unreliable, which may be a, uh, a downside if you're trying to cross uh, a difficult going terrain or any terrain that could get bogged down in. But that, I feel that with the armor and then the anti-tank rating, that uh, the Yag Panther is definitely the way to go. Um, so that was just a quick overview of what I'm going to be doing, what I'm looking at. Uh, so uh, that's the Atlantic Wall as a, in a nutshell. If you want me to post some more videos about the Atlantic Wall in particular, uh, or I'm going to move on to the uh, Overlord um, and look at some of the lists there. Leave some comments, shoot me a message if you want, ask me questions, uh, and hope to see you around. Have a uh, safe gaming and have fun.